team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Don Rickles tears into everyone on the Carson Tonight Show. Never heard of Don Rickles before, so excited to jump into this. Before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. What we got, Don? Hi. My next guest will be appearing at the Sahara for one week from Christmas to New Year's. A heartwarming time for him to be there. That's right. <laughs> to bring a little joy into everybody's Santa life at the, at the holiday season. <laughs> Would you welcome Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles. Uh, I just took George in his car and told him where he was. <laughs> him out of here before you got out. I oh, want... he was a sweet man. He went back. He said, Dan, Dan. I kicked him in the leg and he went away. He was... He's a charming man. I'm going to put him in a home so we don't bother anybody. George is very nice. He's a sweet man. Don't you, just hope, don't you really... just hope we get to be that age? Yeah. Well, no, I'm not. Well, you will because you have nothing on your mind. Uh... <laughs> we all have responsibilities and family. You got six million to sit out the beach and go, another beer, man. And he's not even married to Mary. That's right. <laughs> Joanna. That's right. Yeah. That's she right. wasn't at the affair last night. I hear the jewelry tarnished and she couldn't show up. Uh, well, just it was going to be a long evening. She was a little tired, that's all. Freddie doesn't laugh anymore since he knows the president-elect. That's right. Uh, he's very tired. Just since they're going, I'm going to get rid of him and sit in the White House. <laughs> all right, Mr. President, pass the beer. More. I feel that. Fine, thank you. Spoke to Johnny. He's getting rid of you. <laughs> Anyway, uh, now that it's an hour, he feels he can do it all alone. He don't need you anymore. <laughs> Sit on those big beer trucks going, Ha, move him out, boys, move him out. How are you feeling tonight? Last night, we did an affair together for Sammy Davis Jr. for the Friars. You had, and you still have a little bit of it, you had a very bad case of um, bronchitis, laryngitis. Yeah, but how are you going to say to Sam you can't show up? You know, they'll move into the neighborhood. That's right. <laughs> But uh, it's a little humor, a little humor. I don't want to get four <laughs> letters. I love the black people. I have Harry Goins has been my black. Been he said they'll move into the neighborhood. <laughs> oh, my God. He said, I love black little people. humor. I don't want to get four letters. I love the black people. I have Harry Goins has been my black. Been bill. with you for a long time. Yeah, 20. You want to buy him? No, no. <laughs> My black been boom. with you for a long time. Yeah, 20. You want to buy him? No, no. <laughs> anyway, uh, he's he's beautiful. And we've been together for some 22 years and we love each other. And it was a great night for Sammy. Oh. It really was. And you and your monologue, I got to tell you, and then yeah. we won't be too nice anymore because it blows the whole image. Your monologue was mag magnificent. Oh. The one line, tell them the one line about the pick fair. I, I think that's a classic. If they you have to know the person I'm talking about. You must tell me. Jerry Buss, for example, is a very wealthy individual who owns the, the Lakers. I guess he owns a world team tennis out here. And the world. Uh, yeah, a very rich young man. And he just bought uh, Mary Pickford and Buddy Rogers' home called Pickfair. So I announced last night at the end of this affair for Sammy that I had an additional surprise for him from the Friars that Jerry Buss was going to buy him and put him on his front lawn at Pickfair. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the kind of lines you do. And, and Sammy did a great... At pick fair. <laughs> Those are the kind of lines you do. And, and Sammy did a great thing. He walked out. Uh, no, not you really were funny. Not. You were funny last night. It was a good evening. All well, you know, it's so funny when we go to these dinners, and you and I discussed it. You know, you go to the dinners, and when it's a friend, as Sammy is to all of us, you know, it's so tough because you got to sit there for hours and hours. You know, Mayor Bradley was up there making a speech, and Alhambra was on fire. Uh, and, uh, he was saying, I'd like to say Sam, and three guys from engine companies came in with hoses. Man, no hamper! He got on anyway, the mayor. Anyway, let me just give him the plaque, and then we'll get the hell out of here. You know. You got on the mayor pretty funny last night. Well, it was, uh, he, he's, he's a yes, beautiful he guy. He really is. I, 
You know, it's great to see a mayor sit at the dais and tap dance while you're talking. You, know? <laughs> you don't see that too often. I mean, he was a wonderful guy. He really is. You know what I want to ask you about? Surely. I want to ask? the whole idea. We're not going to sit here and stare at each other's outfits. That's right. That is a cute outfit. As you get older, you start to go for the sports jacket and slacks. Mm. So. And as you get older, you start to go for those Mickey Mouse suits. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, this is these toy Johnny Carson outfits that are made in Buffalo for two dollars. <laughs> With the thin lapels and the cute little shirts, and in the back he has a fake dickie and there's no outfit. No fly, no front, just a little... And underneath he's wearing jeans and a dead cowboy suit. A dead cowboy suit? Yeah, well, they don't know. Well, don't try to say that. Never ask you what you mean. We're not going to make this a question and answer. That's Hit right. the buzzer and win two trips no. to a luau. That's now, an you, you went to England, and you entertained for the royal family? Shut up, Freddie. If you knew more than me, you'd be a guest. Uh, anyway... <laughs> You don't see him over here, no. do you? I love that. Ever since he did Bozo, he's drunk with power. It's Bonzo. Bonzo, <laughs> it is, you Bonzo. Bonzo, this. Bonzo. Bozo. Bozo. It's the same darn thing. Bon <laughs> Every time he did Bozo, he's drunk with power. It's Bonzo. <laughs> Same thing. Bonzo. Bozo. Bozo. It's the same darn thing. Bonzo. I don't follow apes. I don't. I'm a Jew. We own the whole zoo. What do you know from one little chip? That's right. right. You went to England hmm. to entertain um, the royal family. Princess well, it Margaret? wasn't. It wasn't exactly that way, John. Yeah. What happened was Bob Hope, who was a personal friend of yours and mine. Certainly. Does, does he know you? Yes, he knows. Quite. <laughs> Probably saw you on one of the floats. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> as you can see, I got the Doc Holiday disease. Yes. <laughs> Consumption there. Yeah, Vic Mature falling off the cab. Pow! <clears throat> anyway, uh, so we went to London with Bob Newhart, who was great because he takes care of the luggage and the yes, passports. He goes, oh, he kept going, you can come into the country. Anyway, and that's in England, and they talk like that because they're all from India. <laughs> Welcome to our country. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> And they all got turbans on their head. Mem Saib, welcome to our country. And, uh, and Margaret, uh... <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. I can't believe I reacted to this. But keep going, dog. I'm scared to let you keep going, dog. Turbans on the head. Mem Saib, welcome to our country. And, uh, oh and Margaret uh, Thatcher is on the corner again. Don't talk like that. <laughs> anyway, and I give her a cookie and she goes away. She's really... Well, <laughs> oh, we had a wonderful time. We Tell us to, about it. We went to the Ambassadors and had a few drinks, which you don't drink anymore and no, you don't drink no. anymore. <laughs> May God give me a stroke if they don't drink. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, we went to the Ambassadors and Bob had a scotch and I had my few vodkas and uh -huh. we enjoyed. And then we did the gala. The opening night was the oh, gala. It was it four was. days of golf. My wife said, Barbara, darling, Barbara said to me, listen, we never get a chance. You never do these things. And you don't like those things. You don't like uh, no. golf competition. No. I know that. Or, or bowling. Ed goes to anything. A dead moose hangout. Anything, you know. <laughs> Two falcons in heat on a road, he shows up for you. <laughs> Uh, I don't usually do that. I, 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 I'm very self-conscious about that. In my golf, you know, I love to play golf, and I'm not too good at golf. You're terrible. Right. Right. Good. You didn't have to zap it in that strongly, but I am terrible. I, but I love it. I, it's the whole idea. I'm not in competitive competition. Right. I boom. So I got to the golf course, and uh, the punchline was 15,000 people are watching. We were up all night at the Ambassadors, a wonderful club in London with John Hill, who was like the Sydney, is it John Hill? John Mills. John Mills, sorry. And I was, and he's like the Sydney Green Street, going, we're going to have the pheasant under the duck. <laughs> and Bob Newhart, who's a wasp from the Middle West, kept saying, uh, 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 do, do you have a Pepsi? <laughs> uh, so, uh, I gotta do a commercial? I oh, can do a commercial. Sure, to keep that big estate going. That's right. So those hunting dogs don't die. <laughs> now, I want to know, in the time we have it. Oh, my gosh. I, I do like that, but <laughs> they, they just said, they, they said a whole lot that you can no longer say on TV. That's right. <laughs> so those hunting dogs don't die. <laughs> now, I want to know, in the time we have it, how Princess Margaret reacted to you, not having probably known you and knowing your humor. Well, what happened, in all fairness, uh, uh, Bob Hope presented me like, 
And as always, as you know, it's a, it's a custom for some reason, which I'm flattered by, and, and you've, uh, and I've said this many, many times, you've been my uh, ace in the hole, the guy that got me really rolling in this uh, yeah. television world. And so they knew me from your show, right. opening. that's the truth, and Dean Martin's show. That's the right. two things they knew about me. And Bob said, and now, again, you know, at midnight, after everybody had 88 drinks and all, all the British comics got up, and they're lovely, you know, Jimmy Tarbucks and Bruce Forsyth, and they said, and guys, and this is similar, exaggerating, went, and two guys went for a nail in a bucket and set them on with a tuppence too, and a mother fell, and a queen fell, and a tuppence. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> And I said, <coughs> my hands have got John. I said to my wife, I got to get a triple vodka. <laughs> get me anything, anything. I, I, I'm not an alcoholic, but I need something. And Newhart had already been off, and Bob right. did his adorable thing, which he does. He does right. it so great, the telephone thing, which they can all communicate with. Right. And Bob said, and now a guy that's going to destroy an AON hair. Is somebody going to destroy us, you know? <laughs> so I, I walked out and I said something about the Queen. I said, Your Majesty, forgive me, and blah, blah, blah. I said, Look, how'd you get all the jewelry? How'd you get so rich? And blah, blah, blah. My mother's living in two rooms in Miami. You have a big house with a flagpole, and I'm getting fed up, and boom, you're sitting here laughing, and they're all going, Eh, hell, eh, hell. And they keep checking with her to see if it's funny, you know? And she was sitting there quietly having her martini going, Eh, hell, eh, hell. <laughs> And the whole evening, everybody's going, ah, how, 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 how. So I didn't know where the hell I was. I kept going, ah, how, how, how. And Newhart kept saying, get the cab, get the cab. <laughs> Punchline, right. show's over. We sit down. I said to my wife, as we all do, uh, we have three of us being right. married, and the wives really have a lot to say. And my wife quietly said to me, absolutely good. Just cool it. Just cool it. Be relaxed. You did good. Boom. I said, Barbara, I'm so nervous. She said, forget it. Guy comes in. He said, would you come and meet Her Majesty? Her Highness, she'd like to meet you. I said, who, what, who she want to meet? And my wife said, it's us, dummy, it's us. Boom. This is Princess Margaret. Princess Margaret. And we walk over, and I say, your Highness. And the first thing out of her mouth is, that's my sister. Uh, <laughs> first thing out of her mouth is, that's my sister. Uh, and I went, <laughs> and I say, oh, pardon me. So we sat down, and it was only us. Yeah. And the Secret Service, there, Scotland Yard, you know, and they right. all have white gloves and a lot of dickies that are popping up. <laughs> and uh, we sat down, and we had a lovely discussion, and she said, how's your mom? I said, how's your mom? And we discussed really? this, and we chit-chatted it, and I uh, gave her a recipe for Jewish message, and she did, she said, really? And we did, how, how, how? And we walked away, and I said to Barbara, this broad's rich. <laughs> so they done you. Really rich. <laughs> we had a ball. That's really wonderful. Rich. We'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, he, uh, this was something else. I'll tell you that. This is something else. That's all we got. If you guys got a favorite video suggestion, you can subscribe uh, to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Ring notification bell. Give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. It's your boy, d -Neo. Out.